Good morning or afternoon and welcome back to Unraveled Game Thoughts. Um, <clears throat> today I have a feast for Odin. We're comparing the solo version of the game and currently what you see laid out here is the solo version. I have the six uh, stage, uh, sorry, six round side of the board here. I'm not doing a full playthrough, but um, just comparing this with the other solo games we've looked at thus far. And A Feast for Odin is really fantastic. It is, uh, as far as setup, now setup is probably the piece where it probably gets a little bit of a ding. <clears throat> I think I'm going with a score of 2.75 which is a little bit lower. I, I almost gave it a three, mainly because it comes with these trays where most of the tiles can be contained. And these are, they're fabulous as far as storage, putting in the box, taking out of the box. Uh, these did not come with the game. I got those from uh, BGGCon this past year, uh, but they were great for this game and the, the pieces that you have to use. But there's cards and there's the islands and then there's the houses and there's the mountain tiles. And so there's lots of bits and pieces to kind of set up for a solo game. Plus you have to get two colors of Viking and alternate them. It's not hard once you get it going. Reset's pretty easy. I almost gave this a three because it was it they did include the storage containers in the box and, and that is very significant. However, it does take a little bit of setup. So 2.75, where I'm really giving this a, a pretty solid score is on the, uh, let me see what I gave it here. Do, 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 do. Where are you? Feast for Odin, 4.25 on the challenge. Um, if I look at my solo metric here, I, I, it, it's a brain burning challenge with the verse Game to game nuances, creates uniqueness with each play, highly engaging. And I, I, the only thing that doesn't, it keeps me from doing a little bit higher, I don't know that I have to force myself to put the game away, but it's fun to play. It is fun to play. Uh, I will, I can see myself getting this out again this year to play solo. It's got so much diversity because the, this is the occupation deck of things you can draw during the game. And that is massive, especially for a solo game. You never know what you're gonna get. And your starting occupations are even pretty extensive. I'll never draw one of these this game, but every game I play, that could be vastly different. So it sort of gives you a little direction each game, but it, it, even though the board is the same, even though your starting board is the same, what you're gonna do each game, depending on these cards, can make a huge difference and, it, and there's so many actions, uh, 61 actions on the main board. This is just the base game, no expansion. There's a lot to do here. So this is fantastic. Uh, challenge 4.25 and then my final score for the experience, I'm going 3.75. So great game overall. I recommend it. This is gonna be high on my list. Thanks for joining me today for Unravel Game Thoughts. Post your comments below and until next time, have a great day.